What does it mean that God is great? Among many other places, Psalm 145 verse 3 declares, Great is the Lord, and most worthy of praise, His greatness no one can fathom. Dozens of verses describe God as great, and give as evidence His wondrous works. In describing a person, the word great means preeminent, above the norm, or distinguished. It also implies superior character or quality, such as saying that Abraham Lincoln was a great man. So when the Bible describes God as great, it sets the Lord apart from human beings we may consider great, and calls attention to his worthiness to be worshipped and adored. The word great is used in many English versions of the Bible to capture the meaning of the Greek and Hebrew words describing God's superior character qualities. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1 says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God. Romans 9 verse 22 speaks of God's great patience. Lamentations 3 verses 22 through 23 praises the Lord for his great love and his great faithfulness. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19 indicates that God's might is unsurpassed. It is an incomparably great power. Titus chapter 2 verse 13 calls Jesus our great God and Savior, meaning that the Lord is the highest rank imminent in his authority. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 21 says that Jesus is a great priest over the house of God, signifying that Christ surpasses all other priests throughout history, in nature, in power, and in ability. When Jesus cast a demon out of a boy, the crowd was amazed at the greatness of God. All through the Bible we see evidence that God is great, from the creation of the world, to the parting of the Red Sea, to the miracles of Christ, to the final judgment. Our response to God's greatness is to humbly worship and adore Him, praise Him for His acts of power, praise Him for His surpassing greatness. God is so great that he cannot be compared with anything or anyone else. Since he created everything in existence, he is far superior to those creations. He is bigger in the sense that he cannot be confined by time or space. He is wiser, using foolish things to confound those who think themselves wise. He is infinite, while all created things are finite. God, in fact, defines greatness, and all other uses of the word are mere echoes of that greatness.